Maybe you've heard that James Edward Oglethorpe helped found the colony of Georgia, but what do you really know about him? After the Turks were defeated, Oglethorpe returned to England. In 1722, he was elected to the House of Commons. The House of Commons was, and still is, a legislative body in the British government. Members of the House of Commons are elected to represent the people living in a certain geographic area. Oglethorpe was a very active member of Parliament. He joined a lot of committees. Committees investigate particular issues important to England and suggest legislation to address those issues. Oglethorpe became very passionate about several issues. One of them was bad conditions for sailors in the British Navy and the practice of impressment or forcing men to serve in the Navy against their will. He was also passionate about making conditions better for people put in prison because they were in debt, meaning they owed money and couldn't pay it back. Oglethorpe's friend, Robert Castell, died in debtor's prison. Robert Castell was an architect and a writer. Some historians even think Oglethorpe used Castell's research and writings to help him select the best location for the new colony of Georgia's first city on the Savannah River. Oglethorpe worked hard to investigate England's prisons and change the way debtors were treated. He had help from other committee members like Lord John Percival, the Earl of Egmont. The Earl of Egmont was a part of a group known as Dr. Bray's Associates. This group was also interested in making life better for debtors, and they were involved in missionary work in England's colonies. Oglethorpe and Dr. Bray's associates decided the best way to make life better for England's poor was by making a new colony in North America where they could start over. In 1732, they got the king's approval to found a new colony between Spanish Florida and English South Carolina. The purpose of the colony would be to help relieve the poor, bring wealth to England, and defend against the Spanish in the South. The king called on these men to manage the colony of Georgia for him. They were called the Georgia Trustees. The Georgia Trustees' dream was that Georgia would be full of hard-working colonists who were farmers and, when necessary, soldiers. The Trustees made it illegal to own slaves and drink rum. They also made strict rules about owning land to try and keep everyone in the colony equal. The Trustees had rules too. They were not allowed to make money from the colony. James Oglethorpe played a major role in creating these rules and deciding what life in the colony would be like. Thank you.